Hey everybody, it's Matt Shu from Upright Health and today I wanted to share a study with you that is super new, super recent. It's about two months old. It was first published online. Um, the, this article was first published online of, uh, April 30th of 2015 um, in the journal Hip International, which is the official journal of the European Hip Society. Uh, it is a peer-reviewed journal. They are dedicated to investigating and discussing diseases of the hip. So this is a really good resource. Um, and in this study, this study is called The Prevalence of Femoral Acetabular Impingement in Radiographs of Asymptomatic Subjects, a Cross-Sectional Study. So this, again, is a study that's looking at the relationship between the, the shapes that we currently call FAI um, or that we that we say are related to FAI and whether or not people have pain. So the whole point of looking at this, uh, looking at people without pain um, but who have the shapes that are supposedly FAI uh, is to determine whether or not those shapes actually cause you any problems. Um, when the whole theory of FAI first came about, the hypothesis was the shapes are the thing that caused the problem, and that was sort of accepted um, at the time. And then surgeries were done based on that assumption, and when people seemed to get better in the short-term follow-ups, it was assumed that that explanation was correct. Now we are seeing studies that are examining that relationship, and this is the latest one that I found, the most recent. And so in this study, they did, um, they did a, a study from July of 2013 to December of 2013. They looked at 185 people uh, in the ages, age range of 20 to 60 years old. Average range was about, average age was, uh, sorry, median age was 34 years. These are all asymptomatic people. These are people without any symptoms at all, okay? FAI was present in 53% of subjects. 32.44% was the overall CAM type prevalence, meaning uh, that means 60 people had CAM impingement, and uh, 79 people, or 42%, had pincer impingement. So. What you're seeing there is that these bony shapes are in a ton of people whether or not they have pain. There is no convincing evidence that it's the bone shapes that are actually the cause of pain or problems, right? What's more likely based on this type of research is that those bone shapes are just natural variances that we thought were the cause of a problem, but very likely are not. So I'm gonna link this video in the description section on YouTube. Uh, you can go read this, video, uh, read this uh, article yourself. Check it out, it's a very, very useful read, and I hope that you remember that pain sucks, life shouldn't.